Number five, Ducati 1199 Panigal R. Top speed, 202 miles per hour, 325 kilometers an hour. With its dramatic styling and breathtaking performance, the Panigal R certainly is one of the best motorcycles ever to come out of Ducati's factory. The R variant keeps the essence of the standard model with light yet powerful V-twin. Ducati did some tweaking to the chassis and engine and added some carbon fiber components. The result is an 1198cc four-stroke V-twin engine fitted to six-speed transmission and mounted to monocoque aluminum frame. All of those give you 195 brake horsepower that pushes you to an estimated top speed of 202 miles per hour. The additional R naming is not just to differentiate styling, but Ducati made real changes to both increase mid-range response and improve handling at the same time. The company also fitted titanium connecting rods to reduce weight, which in turn provides higher RPM limit to 12,000 Number 4. Kawasaki Ninja ZX14R. Top speed 208 miles per hour, 335 kilometers an hour. The Ninja ZX14R is currently the top of the line model of the ZX series. Powered by a 1441cc inline 4 engine, the bike generates 208 crank horsepower and 113 pound feet of crank torque. It's a massive engine, even bigger than the H2R or the Suzuki Hayabusa. So Kawasaki devised a unique monocoque design in which the entire frame of the bike is essentially an integrated support structure. Being the top range model, the ZX14R comes equipped with all the bells and whistles you can expect, including ABS, dual power modes, regular and high performance, traction control, Brembo brake calipers, slipper clutch to maximize both power and traction, and dual intake valves. In the regular power mode, the throttle response becomes somewhat mild and the overall power is also limited. But you can always get back to the full power ride. Price starts at $14,999. Number 3. Lightning LS-218. Top speed, 218 miles per hour, 351 kilometers an hour. Unlike all the other motorcycles on this list, the Lightning LS-218 does not use fossil fuel. Inside what looks like a conventional fuel tank in just about every other motorcycle, the manufacturer decided to fit in some electric batteries instead. And because it does not burn fossil fuel, it does not produce emission. If your idea of a powerful bike is one that makes a lot of noise, then the LS218 falls short in that respect. At a glance, the motorcycle looks like most other superbikes with a big tank, massive fairings, large disc brakes, oversized swing arms, wide tires, and single seat. The only major difference is that there is no exhaust to be found, neither muffled nor racing. The engine is an IPM liquid-cooled 150 kilowatt, which sounds small, but it generates 200 horsepower and a massive 168 pound-feet of torque from an almost standstill position. There's no need for expert throttle mapping, flat spots, or unwanted leaps of power delivery. With high-speed gearing and fairing, Lightning LS18 can go 218 miles per hour with ease. Number two. Kawasaki Ninja H2. Top speed, 227 miles per hour, 365 kilometers an hour. When it was first launched in 2015, Kawasaki Ninja H2 looked like something from outer space with a cartoonish exhaust along with the typical green and black color scheme. It looked like something that the Predator would ride. The latest version is just about the same, but the appearance has grown to become more familiar to our eyes. 
Powered by a supercharged 998cc inline four engine, the H2 can generate 228 crank horsepower and 98.5 pound-feet crank torque at 10,500 RPM, although you can get most of it in the mid-range. The H2 belongs to the supercharged Super Sport class of Ninja Superbike series. In case you're not convinced, there is a brand new emblem that simply says supercharged on the engine. Price starts at $32,500. Number 1. Kawasaki Ninja H2R. Top speed 249 miles per hour, 400 kilometers an hour. Many people say that Kawasaki Ninja H2R is simply too much. It's too fast, too vicious, too striking, too bold, and yes, too expensive at around $55,000. This motorcycle can be one of the very few which even the most enthusiastic bike lover would think twice to ride. The 2020 Ninja H2R is, thus far, the most powerful motorcycle ever to come out of the Kawasaki factory. In fact, it can be the most powerful sport bike in the entirety of 2020 model years across all manufacturers. Perhaps the H2R is the first of a motorcycle category known as the Hyper Sport Bikes, for it's able to generate up to 310 crank horsepower and 115 pound-feet of crank torque. All of those numbers come from its supercharged 998cc inline-4 engine in a motorcycle that has a wet weight of just 476 pounds. At this point, the H2R still holds the unofficial top speed record for a factory stock motorcycle at 250 miles per hour. The record was set several years ago back in Turkey using the 2016 version of the bike. 